Hey, Savage, it's Greg. You there? Yeah, buddy. What's going on? So, uh, I got a very interesting proposition. Are you interested in making a little money? I always like making some nice money on the side. What do you got in mind? So, the uh, United National Society for Scientology uh, called me earlier, and they're offering 350,000 Britain bucks uh, for us to capture a very peculiar specimen. Did you say 350,000 Britain bucks? Yeah, it's the kind of like dollars, but it's not it's not really good in like I think maybe like Minnesota and Texas. Uh, I don't like those places anyway, so I'm in. All right. What's this, uh, what's this mysterious specimen you were talking about? Uh, meet me inside of a sad cabin within a very remote part of Canada in the woods with no power and really no other amenities, and I'll describe to you more about what we're doing when we're there. Can I bring my bearskin rug? Yes. Sick. I'll be there. Okay, so, uh, basically what we're looking for is Bigfoot. Bigfoot? Yeah, Bigfoot. He's like a, he's like a big shaggy dinosaur, but he's more like a mammal. And he runs around... You know, like, just, Yogi just Bear? mentioning that... I, I know, yeah, like, you say Yogi Bear? Yeah, you know Yogi Bear? He, he stood on two legs, but he was like a yeah, beast. Yeah, yeah. And he ran around eating people's picnic baskets. So that's basically what Bigfoot is like, except he also likes murdering children. Oh, that's... that's not good at all. So our job to save the world is to find him uh, and, and kill him. Did you just shoot me? No, I saw a bug. Anyway, did, did you bring everything you needed? Yep, I got my... what do we got here? We got my cameras, I got my flares, I got my rifle, I got some medicine, meat, a couple of traps, my night vision camera. You actually see... brought the bearskin rug. Yes, I did. How did they let you bring that on the plane? <laughs> uh, I told them it was a nice coat, and they let me keep it on. Okay. And they managed to let me bring my drone, too. It's right over here under the bed. Oh, how does this work? So, uh, I'll give you a little rundown. So you pick it up, and by pick it up, I mean I'm gonna pick it up, because there's only one. We're gonna come right over here, not on the ice, because for some strange reason, this drone and ice, they don't seem to like each other. We're gonna hit a nice Q. We're gonna hit drone. We're gonna plop that bad boy right on the bottom. And then if you'd like to control it, you hit tab. Uh, you go to your tablet, and then you hit the t uh, the drone could control app. Oh, it's- drone tablet. It's working. How do you make it go Space up? Space bar to go up, and then shift to go down. It also has a maximum distance. Uh, I just heard a bit- a bunch of roaring across the lake. Good, he's there. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this drone back over because it looks really expensive. Alright, how are we supposed to catch this thing? I brought a couple of traps. They're bear traps. Now, you said this thing was kinda like Yogi Bear, so I kinda thought in my head, while well, uh, well, I was still prepping, maybe this thing is like a bear. Maybe he's trying to catch some strange scientific uh, experimentation bear that's been there uh, up in the up in the Canadian Canada wilderness. <laughs> the Canadian Canada wilderness. I love that. Yeah. It's one of my favorite places to go. How? What? What do you need to make the trap work? Well, if I don't hear grunting to my left, terrifying. You need a nice trap, and then you need to pop a slab of meat on that bad boy. Wait. So. You have to make Bigfoot eat your meat? Yes, Bigfoot is real and he tried to eat my meat. Exactly. <laughs> no wonder they want him dead. Let me put down some of these cameras. Are we, are we like putting them all over here or, or is it like a very special place? I mean, I personally, what I found out on the, on the online before I came in here and tried to help you out, uh -huh. I found that this Yeti, or this Bigfoot, likes a nice, uh, a nice side of the lake for some strange reason that this cabin's on. He likes to stare at us. Longingly. Just... Maybe Longingly. he's just really lonely, but the only way he knows how to make friends is by killing them so that he can bring their lifeless corpse back to his cave and, you know, I don't know, like creepily stare at them. Isn't that what Jeffrey Dahmer did? I wanna say yes. Uh, I haven't put down any traps yet. I'm, I'm only focusing on All cameras right. at the moment here. Be careful because I've seen a, a man or two accidentally set off one of my traps. What happens just if you, uh, what happens if you set off your own trap? Uh. Well, first of all, I'd be judging you for trying to touch your own meat. Oh. In the middle of this uh, beautiful wilderness that we got here. And uh, second, I'd probably say you should probably get that bear trap off your foot, boy, before you get your uh, meat ate. Yeah, if there's one thing I don't want to do, it's get my meat caught in a bear trap. Let me, uh, I'm going to put maybe one over here. All right, so bear trap, slap it down, take your meat. And then put it right in the middle of the trap. Slap it. Oh, yep. yeah. Wow, that is a big piece of meat. Thank you. I got to tell you something. 
I'm I'm highly impressed. Oh, you can put the meat wherever you want. You can just throw the meat on the on the cold ground if you like. Actually, yeah, you're not wrong. That's kind of weird, but all right, that's fine. There it is, night now vision, I, night vision cam, friggin' awesome. Now what I like to do is I'd like to hightail it back to the other side of the forest, other side of the river, back to base camp, and just sit right on in the ice where the bad boy can't hit me, because for some strange reason the Yeti, in the snowiest place in the world, does not like ice or snow. <laughs> What a quinky dink. Let's get it. What well, a quinky dink. what's funny is that like 90% of the entire board appears to be ice and snow, which means that he's confined to a sad little. Oh, the sun's coming up, is it? Oh, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, it is six. It is 6.6 .6 in the morning. There it is, 6.10. a.m. Yeah, 6.6 a.m. Only in Canada, people. Only in Canada. Now, I think that you can look at all your different. Yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah. Full motion camera goo. This is what I'm talking about. Oh no, he's down south. I just heard. Oh. I just heard a lot of yelling. What does that mean? You say he's down south? I heard him down south. This is why I called specifically for Savage. He's been hunting giant creatures his whole life. You know, he's hunted beavers and um, possums and raccoons. And all of those things have a lot in common with Bigfoot. They're all pests of mankind, and all of them need to be put down. Except Josie, my poor pet raccoon. She died in the last firefight against the beavers. <laughs> Great beaver fight of 2018. It was terrible. Did you actually see this thing? No, I heard it. Oh. So we got a body of water here. Mm -hmm. We can we can explore the four, or I guess six technically, because you want to do due north and due south too. Mm -hmm. But we can explore like the six points of the map and see what we find. Oh, there is a river. There's a river that comes right here. It leads into the um, it leads into that body of water. So what you what you typically do, I would normally follow the river and see kind of where it goes. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious if the map ends. Like I've never, I, I have no idea how big this map actually is. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm, I just want to see it. I think. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, it is an old hunting tower. This is like long, dark hunting tower style. Uh, I'll grab the trap, I guess. There's no reason not to have another trap. I'm gonna need another slab of beef to put in there eventually. Use your use your biological talents here. Are, are all these fallen trees. Is this uh, is this natural occurring or what? Well, it depends on the break pattern. If it looks like it's almost splintered, it might have been the yeti. But if it looks almost like it got pulled from the ground. Uh, I think the uh, the Yeti may or may not have had Bigfoot up for at least a nice Sunday dinner. And it looks like the Yeti seems to have uh, gotten a little bit uh, too drunk with his buddy, the Sasquatch. <laughs> Ornery. And uh, they seem to have a tree felling competition. So like I said, those broken ones, that would be uh, that their Yeti. But the uh, the ones that almost look like they got, got pushed out of the ground, that is the uh, Sasquatch himself. Is there a hole in that piece of ice? Like, is there a hole right there? Guns out. Guns out, boys. Oh, I think I heard something just yell. It is. It's like a hole. Oh, I heard him. Oh. Oh, 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 it's a place. Glacier, Glacier cave. cave. This is freaking amazing. Is this like his little... Oh, these are really big pieces of bone. Look at this. Is a pelvis oh, over here or what? Look at that. Oh, that is. That's a pelvis. That's Some a... seaweed? That's an iliac what, crest. What is this? Is that... <laughs> what is this? That's... <laughs> it's, a, it's a Captain America. Oh, oh my god, the Yeti killed Captain America! Hold on, this is ridiculous. Oh no! It is! It's all Captain America's, but there's his skull! Actually, that doesn't really look like a human skull. That is, that is huge, mungus. Well, to be fair, Captain America uh, did undergo special treatment, so it's possible that his skull and bones are more potent than the average. But this is really random, though, to find Captain America dead by a Yeti. Even Thanos couldn't kill him, and he got yeah, jacked sure. by a Yeti. Can we grab stuff here? There's like items over here. Yeah, oh, there's, yeah, there's like signal flares and everything. Take your crap. Oh yeah, there's bullets. Here we go. Well, something brought the creatures inside to eat them. I'm just kind of impressed that that Bigfoot can fit himself through that little crevice because it seems a I little am tight. too. Captain's log, 1740 hours in the the Yuka, the Yuka Pan or whatever it is. Savage and I are still searching for a second sighting of the elusive sad master known as Bigfoot. Oh, if you get closer to the fire, it gets hotter and hotter. Can you jump in? Oh, no, oh he's just set on fire. Touch it. Don't touch it. It's hot. Okay. Oh, that's roasty toasty. So this just in, everyone. Fire is in fact hot, at least over here in Canada. Yeah, yeah. That's a little path here. So we didn't just, find. Just imagine. We didn't find anything in the last path. Uh, it just kind of went up to the top of the hill, and that was like the edge of the zone, and it was like you have to leave. Otherwise, I'll forcibly oh, kick you out. We're going this way. Yeah, that's there's like a yeah there's like rocks and stuff here. So this looks like an area that we can legitimately like get through. 
The Aurora is pretty cool. I'm gonna tell you that. Aurora Borealis. Yeah, it's sitting over there to the left, looking freaking. At this sweet. time of day, the Aurora. contained entirely in the Yukon territories. The Aurora what is, is beautiful. What? What is this? Oh, it just popped up. Mystic stones, and of course, there's a bunch of dead carcasses on the ground. Is that just a slab of meat? Yep. Slab of meat just laying on the ground. Just picked it up. I don't know whose meat that was, but it's in my pocket now. Oh my god, I can't believe you just pocketed somebody's meat. What are the stains? Those blood? Those those look like uh those look like runes. Ancient Nordic runes. Why they gotta be Nordic? Hold on, I have an idea. Let me uh let me make a campfire here because I'm about to get really, really cold. Okay, and now Google, that we I can you want to Google translate it? Well no, let's Google translate it, because I don't know Nordic and I don't know if you do either, but Google does. Let's find out what they say. Alright, uh you so got this a, one looks like a you sidewards a, M. You got a W. All right, I guess it could also be an M. Depends on how Side, you look at sidewards, it. Sidewards M. So what does a sidewards M mean? How do you so read S? How do you read ruins? Like do you read them up to left or right to down or what? I don't know exactly. I think you leave them read them up to down. All right. This one's a backwards F. That one is Ash. Oh, it's a full word. Yeah, what is this one? The backwards R. Backwards R is ride. Ash ride. Or ride ash, I guess. And then this one, this one's hard to decipher. What is it? It's like, it's like a D? It's like a J. I look it's, like a uh, sorry, it's like a, it's a P. It's joy. Joy. Ash ride joy. Joy ride ash. So the middle one is man. The, the it weird. looks like a, um, like a, an hourglass or something, but like kind of yeah, but with lines jetting it. So that one's man. The one I'm on or looking at right now, I think that one's joy. It's either joy or born. So what are the other ones? Ash and ride. Ash, ride, man, and born. And then this last one, which I don't know what it is. Joy, ride, man, ash. Well, we got the we got the sun up for a few hours, so we can actually keep heading um, over to the soul. Oh, sun. Like, sun. like S U N or like S O N? S U N. So what is that? So, so sun, man, born, uh, or joy? Joy. No, I think it's I think it's born because it's because uh, joy is doesn't have the top tail. Okay. Born has that weird like it's not really like a curve, but it's like a bump. Okay. This one's definitely ash because everything's pointed down, and then this one's definitely uh, ride. Man, joy ride, sun. Maybe Ash? it's a compass. Well, the center is the hold center on. is man. So if we look at it, I'm actually East, really curious now as west. to what this means. So which? Hold on, let me see if there's a way. So this way. I want to see what's this way. So if this one points this way, this so that is, one goes just right. This is assuming it even does anything. I don't. I, we don't even know if this does anything. It just it says Mystic Stone, so it is a place on the map. Like it's something you're yeah. supposed to find. Spooky. Everything has a double meaning. All right, so that looks like it just kind of dead ends over there, the little rock piece. All right, it's daytime out. Be cautious of the Yeti. Now that we can actually see, kind of. Is he angrier outside. in the daytime? Uh, no, he's he's just more agile. Now this goes down like way down here. Oh, he's behind me. Oh. Oh God, that scared the out of me. I'm oh, coming. God, I'm coming. I'm coming. Me. He I'm beat coming. me up. I'm coming. I can't get to him. You're 24 meters away. Can you get to me? I can try. Oh my God, that startled the crap out of me. Is he still after you? Like, no, he ran. All right, which way did he run? He ran up the mountain where we were. How did he get up the mountain? This thing's so freaking hard to move around he, he on. He literally just ran right up the cliff. Really? What are we dealing yeah. with here? What, seriously, what are, we, what are we dealing with? This isn't a, this isn't a, uh, a big... Uh, uh, I'm dead. You died? I fell down the cliff. No. Oh, there's a bridge here. Yeah, that too. At least we got a 360 view now. I believe in you. Godspeed, buddy. Okay. Take all my wisdom and literally run backwards over the across the bridge. What's on the other side of the bridge? This is where I was planning on going uh, with the the way that the thing was heading. Like all here is and then all of just Oh, what left. the hell? I tripped on a stone or something. So we both died horribly momentarily. Uh, not due to Bigfoot, mostly due to the the, the rigors of the wilderness uh, killing us as we fell off of three foot ledges and died. But today. <laughs> We're gonna search one last. Just take a real quick look around. See if we can spot him one last time. We saw him, but he got away. Uh, majestic creature. Yeah, fire all the flares. Let's really screw this forest up. There's a deer over there. Die, no deer. Loves no one loves you. My, my god. No, more fire. Burn this place down. Burn. 
What is that? Oh, I heard him. Yeah, what does it mean? It means he's mad. Is he coming at us, or? I don't know. All right, after our original encounter with... What is it with this tree over here that keeps moving? After our original encounter with Bigfoot, and then after, you know, Savage got mauled to death by him almost. We haven't that seen him terrible. again. He was on top of that hill, which was over by the Mystic Stones, and then we found that ice cave with Captain America who's dead. So it hmm. may all mean something. I just, I don't know what, but it may help us to find him in the end and then beat the crap out of him because he's different from us. That's how it works. <laughs> America. Sorry, we're in Canada. Canada. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Bigfoot. Do you know Nordic runes? Is that are we are we on the right spot with the with the ash of man joy ride ash of man or something like that or born of ashes of man it's Ash versus the evil dead yeah ash and something the evil like dead something like that feel free to let us know in the comment section below what are some other secrets did did Captain America who managed to slink past Thanos die to the freaking Bigfoot I don't know you let me know that as well if you want to make the YouTube machine happy feel free to track down the old like button until next time folks stay foxy and much love. <laughs>